In Harbin's Delhi district, the morning market on Hongzhen Street has become a must-visit attraction for tourists. Visitors flock here to indulge in regional delicacies such as fried dough and frozen pears. Opening at 5 a.m., this market used to cater to locals only and close at 8 a.m. But now, as its charm has attracted numerous visitors from far and wide, its business hours are extended to 9 a.m. to give southern tourists a special treat. Omar, traveling to Harbin for the first time, struggles to comprehend the bone-chilling minus 20 degrees Celsius temperature. Uh, actually, at the first place, it's for the local people. Okay. And many elderly people will come here to buy some breakfast and some vegetables to make food. Okay. But uh, about last year, it got popular online. And many tourists come here to try the local delicacies. And you can look around, not only the uh, local food, but also something from Beijing, from Guangzhou, and from Xinjiang, other places. Okay, so and it's more, you have food from all across China, that's yeah. what you're saying. And also okay. the people from all over China. Okay. Oh. Oh. This one's nice. This one is warm. This one's warm? Yeah, yeah, this one's warm. We have a winner? Yeah, we have Say yes to the hat. Try this one too. This one's like Chinese, right? This one's Chinese. 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 <laughs> okay, okay. However, the warm hospitality of the vendors, having their distinctive northeast flower cotton patty jackets on, melts away any discomfort. They lovely refer to their customers as little prince and princess. <laughs> Some 100 meters east of Hongzhen Street Morning Market is Harbin's Century Old Street, Central Street, one of the city's signature scenic sites. And walking along the street to the north, we reach the Flood Control Memorial Tower Square at the end. And like other urban attractions, it is more of a recreational destination for residents than for tourists. Despite the freezing temperatures, a group of people dancing with beaming smiles catches our attention. And able to resist the infectious joy, we the trill join the dance. Uh, you know what? This is the theme song of our Ice Snow Festival. I'm waiting for you in Heilongjiang. Yeah. I'm waiting for you in Guangzhou. Okay, I'll go there. <laughs> Our city walk continues onto the frozen Songha River, just behind the flood prevention monument. More fun to go. Crowds of tourists are enjoying various winter activities. Most northern folks have played spinning top on the ice in their childhood, except me. And this time, I discovered my hidden talents as I effortlessly managed to master the spinning skill among all beginners. See? <laughs> I have the gene of playing this. <laughs> you need to restart. I know. <laughs> How do you keep it? Okay. Hongzhen Morning Market, St. Sophia Cathedral, Isis No Carnival, Central Street. These are just some of the must visit attractions during winter. The most stunningly beautiful season of Harbin. However, the highlight no one can afford to miss is the Harbin Ice and Snow World. Acknowledged by the Guinness World Records as the largest ice and snow themed amusement park globally, this park has been continuously expanding, now covering an impressive 816,000 square meters. It features vibrant ice and snow sculptures as well as a diverse range of winter activities. Perhaps the record would be broken next winter. Let's wait and see. The snowflake-shaped Ferris wheel, ice and snow acrobatics, and drifting captivate visitors, but the giant ice slides still a show. This year, Harbin Ice and Snow World added six more slides to the previous eight, 
But apparently, the park's management team underestimated people's enthusiasm and the popularity of the item. Fourteen slides at service, tourists still have to queue in line for about six hours to experience the thrill of the 521-meter-long slide. Six hours? That sounds crazy. We just let us indulge in the beauty of the icy fairy world. This is a queue, right? Yeah. Okay. No. How long do you think they need Probably to queue? Probably one hour. No. Two. Guess. Ten no. Minutes. No. 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 Ten no. Minutes. About six hours. To get. To, to get to try that big six, slide. No way. Not six hours. Yes, six hours. There's so many tourists here. Despite the long wait, the beauty of the icy fairy world leaves us spellbound after dark. The illuminated icy buildings, adorned with colorful lights, create a magical ambience. This year also features the China Friends Year of Culture and Tourism, so people can find some special ice sculptures inspired by the event, just like the Temple of Heaven and Notre Dame de Berries. For 25 years running, the Harbin Ice and Snow World has showcased an impressive display of sculptures for domestic and overseas tourists. I think the fact that it has become so popular this year is a result of Harbin's unwavering commitment to the cultivation and development of ice and snow culture over the past six decades. After spending a whole day doing city walk in the freezing weather, it's time for us to enjoy some local delicacies and wrap up the day. Braised chicken with potato and mushroom is highly recommended. When we arrive at the restaurant, dinner is five minutes away. The tantalizing smell of food wafting from the iron pot makes us even hungrier, and one minute seems like a year. So what, explain me, what is this chicken in what? Mm. First of all, we explain this to you. Like this is a traditional northeastern cuisine where they have a huge iron pot and they put all the ingredients in there and they have this special sauce and they cook it like this. And you can, you can stew pork ribs, goose, fish, chicken. It has all this good flavor of sauce. The chicken meat is good. Yeah. It's good. Oh, the noodle is good too. It tastes like the chicken without the chicken. All the flavor, all the flavors are there. The, the one that you hit me over the head with, yes. the one you would, yeah, the frozen one. Oh, here it is. So wait, which? Oh, it's so cold. It's so cold. When I asked you how to eat it, you told me that it's about uh, micro oven, fried, boil. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. But no, no, no. you don't. You just put it in room in room temperature. Yeah. It's freezing. Water. Okay. With the stomach full and satisfied, we sit and talk about the interesting encounters during our city walk. We discuss the provision of shelter rooms, free hot drinks, free car rides for pickup tourists, newly laid carpets in the underground passage. All of which are these attentive services that surprise not only new to tourists like Chen and Omar, but also to locals like me. This winter, the influx of tourists from southern China and other regions has propelled Harbin to unprecedented levels of popularity. And I think it is the locals' remarkable hospitality and sincerity that has transformed the Harbin sensation trending on social media platforms into a tangible reality. As my friends prepare to bid farewell, they express their desire to return to Harbin time and time again, not just for the city itself, but also for the heartwarming experiences found everywhere.